Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we're going to be making a shark hound. I thought this would be a really fun project. I've seen like shark dog themed creatures made before and I thought it'd be really cool to do a hammerhead version. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to work on is going to be the clay head, which is going to be pretty large, and I want to try and make it as light as possible, so I'm going to start by making a tin foil base that will be inside of the clay head. Now also because of how long and wide our head is, I want to add a little bit of extra support, so I'm going to add some wires to our tin foil and just kind of shape everything around that. That way it has just a little bit more support than just being tin foil. So I'm gonna get the tin foil shape down first. I'm gonna get everything kind of roughly sculpted with the tin foil. Now remember, the clay is going to make things a lot thicker, so I'm gonna try and keep this as thin as possible. And then once I have a basic shape laid out with my tin foil, I can start covering it in my clay. So I'm just going to take some strips of clay, chunks of clay, just whatever I need to get it covered, and I'm going to get everything completely covered in clay, and I'm going to start blending it together. Once I have everything blended together, I can then start using my tools to adjust the shape of the head. So if I need to add any clay, I can add it. If I need to take any clay away, I can take it away and just kind of adjust everything until I get the shape that I want. Also, I'm trying to make the head as even as possible. That way both sides are symmetrical. So other than the eyes and the mouth, there really isn't any other distinguishing features we need to add to our hammerhead uh, head. <laughs> So I'm just going to add those features to the face real quick. I'm going to start with the mouth and I'm just going to take some strips of clay and lay out where I think the opening of the mouth should be. For the eyes, I am going to paint them a different color. I'm mainly just using these because they're the correct size. I have these little glass beads and I'm going to push them into the sides of the face where I need the eyes to go. So I'm just going to place the eyes into the head and then I'm going to take some small strips of clay to make the eyelids. And sharks really actually don't have eyelids. It's more of just kind of framing the eye so that it's not sticking out all bulbous like. I want it to be actually set into the head. So other than that, I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to the front of the face. Nothing fancy. And then once I like how everything looks, I'm going to put our clay head in the oven for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Now let's work on the clay feet. So the front feet and the back feet are going to be pretty much the same. The only thing different is I'm going to have the clay for the back feet go slightly more up the leg to make the back feet a little heavier. That way we can kind of balance out the body because of how large the clay head is. So I have a pretty simple wire frame. I'm not going to even have wires for all the toes. I'm just going to have wires for the outer toes. And that's because we're going to have everything webbed. So I figured we didn't really need to add the extra wires. So I'm going to start covering everything up. Um, for the webbing, I'm just going to take a large piece of clay and connect the two wires together, making one nice flat piece of clay. And then we're just going to take strips of clay to define the shapes of all the toes. So I'm going to lay those out, start blending everything together and cleaning everything up. Once I like how the tops of the feet look, I'm going to put everything in the oven for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. And then after everything is cooled from baking, we can start on the painting. For the painting, it's going to be actually extremely easy other than working on color matching. So I have a gray fabric that we're obviously going to use for the body and then the belly is going to be white. So I'm going to have to match that gray for the body as best I can and we're going to primer all of our clay pieces with that paint. So I'm going to get everything completely painted gray and then we can start adjusting and adding the details to it. So with the head, what we're going to end up doing is after the gray is dried, we're going to start adding white to the underside and blending it into the gray. 
I'm also going to add a little bit of pink to change up the color a little bit, and then I'm going to add black in the crease of the mouth to give it that nice dark shadow. I'm also going to adjust the color around the eyes and then paint the eyes themselves black. For the feet, what I'm going to end up doing is taking a little bit of a lighter gray and brightening up the ends of our toes. And then I'm going to water down some of that pink that we used around the mouth. And I'm going to go over the webbing. That way they kind of separate a little bit and you can see the webbing as more of a pinky color than a gray color. It'll just help define the shape of the toes a little bit more. So I'm gonna get all four of our feet done along with the head, let everything dry, and I'm gonna go over all my clay pieces with a thin layer of resin to help protect all of the paint that we did. Okay, so now that all of our clay pieces are done, let's get started on the body. And with the pattern for the body, other than having legs, it looks exactly like a shark body. So yeah, just add some legs. <laughs> I mean, there's more to it than that, but you can see how it could easily be turned into just a normal shark. So I'm going to start with the body first, and it has a left and a right. So I'm going to pin these two layers together. So we're going to start right around where that fin is, the very front fin, and we're going to go all the way around and sew until we get to where the back legs are going to connect. So we're just going to sew from this point all the way to this point with our sewing machine. And the reason for this is we have a top portion and a belly portion that we're going to connect to the body. So we're going to take the fabric for the top portion and we're going to sew that into place and we're going to take the belly piece and we're going to add that later when we're putting everything together. And then with the fabric for the legs, they're going to have an inside piece and an outside piece. The outside pieces are going to be made out of the gray fabric and the inside pieces are going to be made out of our white fabric. So I'm going to take each inside and outside for each leg, we're going to pin those together and sew down the fronts of all of them. Okay, so now that we have a little bit of sewing done, we can start putting our body together. So I'm going to start with our body fabric and flip it right side out and start stuffing the portion of the tail. Then we're going to take a wireframe that I made ahead of time. This wireframe had to be pretty heavily reinforced because even though I made the head as light as possible, it was still quite heavy. So I'm going to take that wireframe and I'm going to run the wire for the tail into the tail. And then we're going to take our clay head and attach it to the wire for the neck. And then we can take the fabric that goes around the base of the head and glue that in place. Once we have that glued into place, we can then take the belly portion and glue that to the bottom portion of the head. You'll want to let everything dry for a little bit and then we can stuff and close up our body. See how I said that this could easily be turned into a normal shark? All you need to do is add the fins now. But we're going to add our feet. So I'm going to start with the front legs first. I'm going to take the fabric for this and what I ended up doing ahead of time was I took the pattern and I sketched out where we're going to connect everything on the body. So I just took a fabric marker and drew on the body where we're going to connect the legs. It'll make it a lot easier. Just make sure that you sew kind of slightly around this so your marker doesn't show later. 
So I'm going to sew my fabric for the legs onto the body. Then we're going to take our wires for the legs and adjust them to the length that we need. I always make these a little bit longer than necessary. Then I'm going to take the clay front legs and we're going to attach them to the wire frame with a thinner gauge wire. The wire for the body is usually a 16 or a 14 gauge when I'm working and the wire that I use to combine everything is a 20 gauge. I'm then going to take the ends of the fabric for the legs and I'm going to glue them around the bases of our feet. You want to let that dry a little bit and then we can stuff and close up our legs. We're going to end up doing the exact same thing for the back legs, they're just shaped a little bit differently. And then once I had the back legs connected, I realized I needed to add two more little fins to the back of the tail. So I just made some really quick ones, stuffed them lightly, and sewed them into place right behind the back legs. Along with those, I wanted to also add some gills, so I sewed some really simple ones that we could layer on the neck, and I just sewed those in place. The closer I got to the head, I did have to glue them instead because the fabric overlapped the clay. So uh, the first few got sewn into place and the last ones got glued. And then I thought it'd be really cute to add a few more extra details to make him feel more like a dog. So I ended up giving him a little chain collar with a fish hook charm. And then I wanted to make him a toy, so I made a plush life preserver for him. Okay guys, and here is our finished hammerhead shark hound. I had so much fun with this project. He came out so cool. I wanna do more of these so you might see other species of sharks turned into little dogs because I just had so much fun with this. So if anyone is interested in giving our new shark friend a home, I'm gonna have him up for sale on my new website. I'll have that link down below, Bubbly Leaf Creations. I also have a bunch of my other art dolls looking for homes as well, so there's a bunch of different stuff on that website. And then if anyone is interested in making your own art dolls or you're just curious to see what I use to make mine, I have a bunch of different materials linked down below. Now, if you buy anything through these links, they are affiliated links, so they do help support the channel. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Go fetch. Get it boy.